Hey everyone, it's carnival season, Mardi Gras is next week, and I have done no Mardi Gras crafts this year. But I wanted to do something this year, and since the season's already almost over, I thought I would do something kind of small. Last year I made some float flowers for my house, to make my house into a house float for Yardi Gras. Since the parades were cancelled last year, a bunch of houses decorated. Anyway, that's what I did. So I thought I would make some teeny tiny versions of these and make these earrings. So let's get started. I'm using thick paper, like cardstock weight. I actually just tore some paper out of a sketchbook, honestly, but it's thicker than normal printer paper. So it can hold the curl without needing wire reinforcement like I used in my house float flowers. For each earring, I cut a big flower shape with five petals. A smaller flower shape with five petals. And one layer that looks like three leaves. Using acrylic and gouache, side note, I only used gouache because it was the exact purple that I needed. I initially wanted to only use acrylic because I was scared that the gouache was going to get messed up later in this project, but obviously I just went with it and it turned out fine. Anyway, I painted the leaf and petal layers. With these, I was aiming to make them the same as my house flowers, but instead of using like a spray paint obviously, I just mainly dry brushed everything. So I did yellow in the middle, and then I went around the edges with some light purple. And then I used a dark purple to trace around the edges and then drew a couple lines going from the tip in to kind of give it a little bit more texture, I guess. I finished the petals by doing some white lines from the middle outward. And for the leaves, I did a light greenish yellow and then light green around the edges and then traced around it with a darker green, adding a vein line down the middle. Also, on the backs of these layers, I painted a solid purple for the petals and the dark green for the leaves. When those were dry, I went through and curled the petals and leaves as I did in the house flowers. I kind of made them come up from the middle and then curve downwards. And here's where it gets interesting. I'm sure I could just continue on and have these be some pretty nice paper earrings, but I wanted them to be a bit more sturdy, so I decided to coat them with UV resin. I have this stuff, it's pretty thick, so I had to squeeze a bit on and then brush it in order to brush it around. When I had one side coated, I used the UV lamp to cure it. This lamp came with the resin that I'm using. When that cured, I flipped it over and coated the other side. And now for assembly. At first I tried to super glue these together, but I don't know if I was just being impatient or what, but it just didn't hold at all. So I thought, why not just do more resin? So that's what I did. The only issue is that it can't fully cure where the resin is being like shaded out, i.e. under the petals in a lot of places. So I had to go and do another pass or two where I held the piece sideways while it cured so it can get in all the like crevices and stuff. I repeated this for the leaves, and this is what I had. 
For the middle of the flower, I decided to use some Mardi Gras beads. I cut a length of three beads from a necklace, held it together and put like a dot of resin, cured it just to hold it in place. I added a glob of resin into the middle of the flower, stuck the little bead triangle thing into it, and cured. So cute. Finally, to finish these off, I did another dot of resin on the back and added an earring post. I kind of wiggled the earring post around a little bit to try to get the resin to come up and over the backing a bit so that when it was cured, it would essentially be locked in place. And there we go, my Mardi Gras float flower earrings. So freaking cute. And what did I do with the rest of this necklace? I just made a couple Mardi Gras bead dogs. I guess I could make these into earrings too, maybe. But wait, there's more. I had these light up earrings left over from back when I rode in a parade, and I thought that adding a float flower would be a great way to jazz them up a bit. So basically, I did the same thing as before to make the flowers, except here, I made the petals a bit rounder because honestly, the first ones I made are a little pokey. I didn't bother with a leaf layer. I cut holes in the middle to account for the earring. I painted them differently, purple on the back, but in the front, just yellow in the middle. And with these guys, I did glitter. And here's how these ones turned out. Again, I think they are so cute. And actually, these could make some pretty cute, like, pins or brooches or something. I might actually use this technique later to make some more earrings. Probably smaller than these though because they're a little excessive. Anyway, if you liked this video, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. You can follow me on any of my social media, they'll be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and happy Mardi Gras! Bye!